hello welcome to my tutorial here I will show you how to take backup of your cPanel files and data pages so at first we have to come to the dashboard of cPanel I am in the dashboard here you have to click on backup as you see that if you click on this download a full account backup that is if you click on this then a full backup your home directory files and your database will be downloaded and normally it is not required what you need to do is here is the account backups so if you click on that if you want to reinstall any backup you just select this and click on download so the specific dates backup will be downloaded to your local pc and another option is partial backups that is if you click on home directory the backup of home directory will be created home directory means if I go here go to file manager going to file manager okay home directory means this all files we tell home directory it means all these files will be downloaded so if I go back to the dashboard here going to the backup I'm clicking on here and if we scroll down what in what I need to do is you have to click on partial backups home directory you have to click here I'm clicking here as you see that a backup that is the recent dates backup file uh, will be pop up if I click OK then the recent home directory backup home directory backup file will be started to download so it is downloading when it will be downloaded you will preserve it to your local PC if something wrong ha is happened inside your website then you can come here and you'll click here and you'll, and you'll select the downloaded file click open and click upload so that your downloaded file will be uploaded from this option same as it is for database backup you can take your database backup as we have seen as we have showed you that this was the WordPress database show so beside taking backup of your home directory you have to take backup of your database also so if you click on that in OK so the database is downloading that is file is small so it is easily downloaded and if you want to restore the mysql database you have to simply click on browse and select the database file and click on upload so that the database file will be uploaded and as same as for email email forwarders and email filters so i hope you guys will understand thank you very much